Data visualization on apps. Uh, why do we build data visualization widgets on our apps, on our web apps? So the motivations are to try and avoid like information overload, giving information overload to our uh, to our audience or just stale experiences really. Uh, Usually we have a bunch of data and like something like this. <laughs> That's just scary. And uh, now, in, in people who are trained, classically trained on statistics, they can see they can see what's going on already with that one. But usually, uh, the way uh, we're not really a lot, not a lot of people are trained uh, trained statistics, so this doesn't like convey as much as information. So the idea is easy solution is to try to make use of our eyes. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, try to make charts of it to show data. Making charts, make, making use of, uh, instead of just cognitively, all numbers, we make use of visual information. Uh, that one is an ex example of uh, like what's coming from here, uh, from coming from like just in a chart, uh, Excel sheet, spreadsheet, and you try to transform that to a chart. Uh, so visualizing information so we can see the patterns and connections that matters, and designing that information so it makes more sense or kind of tells a story. Um, here's another example from that one. Is this one is the is a famous presentation by Hans Rosling, the Wealth of Health of Nations. This one is a demonstration of the power of the tree. Uh, for this one, like from that Excel sheet, you can transform that much data into something really compelling and, uh, and tell stories of that. You can see the growth of the nations. The first one there is uh, on the top uh, right is England and next to the red dot there is the US. 1870s you can see the growth, unimaginable growth of the US and, and all that. So that's possible now with uh, with uh, our data visualization stuff. This one's not Flash, this one's just making use of JavaScript, uh, JavaScript really. It's uh, D-Tree for that one. Uh, so this one's the, the red, the big red there is uh, the US. The big uh, brown thing there is China. It's, it's, uh, it's power and stuff. What's you can see it's- What are the colors mean? Uh, the colors are more of like the regions of the world Brown is Asia. Whoops. <laughs> Brown is Asia, and uh, red is uh, South America. America, and uh, 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 purple is Europe. So you can see where things stand from, like really from the beginnings of the. Uh, really from the beginning here, you can see that. We've come along. It it's really telling a story, I and mean, a story of growth. Like, okay. this one is more of like the rest of the world is catching up. Uh, so it's really giving like some compelling stories immediately, coming from an Excel sheet. Now you can transform that to a, a animated chart, really, as possible now. Uh, so, yeah, this one is uh, Hans Rosling, a uh, very famous TED uh, speaker. This one's like, I let data set change your mindset. Uh, tools of the trade, uh, you can make use of dtree.js, make use for, for that, and of course Drupal for uh, the back end data. Um, there's a lot of available uh, tutorials online on D-Tree already. 
Um, I would suggest uh, there's a YouTube channel, uh, D Tree Vienna. Of course, uh, some shame, shameless plugs. I even. Uh, uh, but what the problem with the, with the YouTube videos is, is like the codes were not available, so I made the code available there. You can see that. Uh, with Drupal and DTree, you can make use of creating those charts. Uh, would recommend the Contrib module DTree. Uh, just buyer beware though. Uh, DTree Drupal is only. Uh, is not compatible with IE8 and below. So just heads up, if, you, if you're trying to do a Drupal D3 project, uh, try to disengage with the Contrib module D3. Uh, of course, with like a lot of reports, reporting stuff, uh, views data aggregation is not as good. Uh, just make use of DB query, really. Uh, now, in addition to D tree, uh, there's also another project that's taking advantage of D tree to make uh, easier charts. It's it's still D tree, but it's uh this one's D tree charts, the Miso project. It's just easier to create D tree charts with that one. Uh. That's it. <laughs>